what's up pretty people of the internet welcome to today's video basically since we're just little avatars and we can dress up however we want every single day i wanted to show you how to find your own style and kind of give an insight on how i found mine cool let's do this i do know best dress actually made this video she has really really great tips so if you want to go check her video out i'll definitely be linking it down below i will be badly regurgitating some of the tips that she gave because again they're really really great uh but i wanted to give my two cents uh with my own fashion sense and just kind of things that i did that are a little different from her uh but yeah just want to preface that okay so now that we have everything out of the way the first step is to assess your own wardrobe right now and you definitely just need to be honest with yourself at this step you need to look at everything in your wardrobe and don't fucking lie to yourself and say that the top that you bought two years ago you're probably just gonna magically wear the next week because I know you're not. I think a really important thing is to decide if you're a fashion over function kind of person or if comfort is a must. I used to think that I was a fashion over function type of girl. I was like, you know what? It doesn't even matter. I'm gonna like look cute anyways. It doesn't matter if I'm uncomfortable the entire day. Um, that's just not me and I've come to terms with that. It's just really key to not force yourself to buy a piece that is uncomfortable just because it's cute because in the end, you're probably never gonna wear it and you're gonna beat yourself up for or buying something and wasting money and also taking valuable real estate in your closet and the last thing that you can do in your wardrobe right now is to repurpose some things that you have you can either do this by layering I actually asked some of my friends that have different styles on how they found their styles and kind of tips that I can give you guys so my friend Nina told me that with the wardrobe that she has right now she really likes to experiment in different layering things I've actually done this recently I didn't really think to layer like a big graphic tee with a maxi skirt because I thought that would just be so shapeless and very unflattering but once I tried it out I'm really really liking the silhouette it was just really fun because it was already just two things that I owned but I never thought to put them together and now it's something I do all the time <laughs> and honestly if you're a crafty bitch you can just cut shit up and glue things together sew things if you're talented like that and make it into a whole new thing kind of just repurpose it in a different way honestly i'm about to get real with y'all i think the easiest way to kind of delve in into a new aesthetic is don't be afraid to copy and paste um certain outfits that you just really really like you know like you know that you like them you know that everything goes well together because someone else wore it and then you saw it and you're like you liked it i don't think that's a problem and then eventually you will evolve and take inspiration from others kind of pick pieces from everywhere this is just how i kind of didn't go into the deep end at first when i was trying out my new aesthetic because it was just kind of very daunting to try to figure out a whole new wardrobe piece by piece it's much easier just to see a photo that you like on pinterest and be like okay so i know i need to get a tennis skirt and then a sweater vest kind of thing i don't think there's anything wrong with that I don't know how you feel about that um, but it's just kind of what I did and a lot of people I know did finding inspiration is so easy especially in the world of TikTok and algorithms on Instagram just everything like that it's so easy for the algorithm to know what you like before you know you like it Pinterest is a godsend I love her <laughs> she's so fun and also like the Instagram saved folders you can definitely just take photos from just anywhere and kind of save it as a photo dump because it's just a lot easier to kind of pinpoint certain pieces that you see like is recurring through all of those photos I feel like if you already made like separate boards for like this is only black clothing this is only blank blank you're kind of really limiting yourself into placing things in categories and you can't really evolve from that I don't really know that's just kind of how my brain works it's just a lot easier to see everything just on a big screen and i'm like okay so it looks like i only like silver jewelry i really like sweater vests you know especially in the beginning figuring out your color palette is just so important because it's really easy to get overwhelmed when you're trying to find new pieces are you into pastels neons black and white only black maybe brown i don't know there's a lot of colors i think it sets a nice foundation on what your first couple pieces will be looking like ashley talked about this in her video but i definitely wanted to kind of put it in my video as well because i think it is so so important especially when finding clothing inspiration it's really key to separate the outfit 
from the model or the person that's wearing it because it's very very easy to think you like an outfit you think you like this clothing piece because you're jealous of that person and their life their body i'm saying this like i've completely overcome it um it's really hard because sometimes it's, it's a very unconscious like you don't really know what you're doing uh, but i think being aware of that is really really important personally for me whenever i trick myself into thinking that i liked a certain clothing piece on this really beautiful instagram model with the perfect body and i get that piece i start to feel even worse about myself it like uh, I don't know because it just doesn't look the same on my body as it does on there and it's nothing wrong with that everyone has different bodies but I got the piece for the wrong reasons type of thing and it kind of just takes you down a rabbit hole of like capitalism I guess and just being insecure um, especially with social media everyone's beautiful and perfect on there don't try to find a certain aesthetic or you know clothing piece just because you want to look like that model because clothing doesn't come with the body trust me i know i bought boobs and because the internet is such a great place there are so many outfit inspirations from people of all different body shapes now for the fun part let's go shopping loser <laughs> i want to preface this by saying please do not throw away everything in your wardrobe and then go to the mall and buy a whole new wardrobe first of all i'm so jealous that you have even the means to do that. Second of all, don't do it. The way I eased into my new style was to go ham with the accessories and shoes. Changing your accessories to reflect your new style is a really, really easy and pretty affordable way to go about it. Um, it's affordable for me because I don't buy jewelry that's over $20. $20 is on like the really expensive end too. I'm wearing six earrings on this side, three earrings on this side, six rings and three necklaces. Is. so let me just say I love my jewelry and with the shoes that I wear basically every single day my knockoff buffaloes I cannot afford the real ones I just I just can't do it they're kind of normal still but they still really reflect my new style uh, because they're basically just white sneakers with really big platforms I noticed that in my like Pinterest situation i knew i really really liked platforms also i have a really big insecurity of being short so maybe that contributes to that i kind of melded the two of like i always wore my nike air force ones uh, which are just white sneakers and then i melded it with platforms that i knew i liked boom knock off buffalo it was really funny uh, i actually asked my boyfriend about how he kind of you know found his new style because he's definitely evolved the past year or so and he told me that <laughs> since he works at like a retail store he just feels comfortable in his own store he's been able to experiment with not just men's clothes women's clothes as well which i feel like he was kind of nervous to do at other stores so hey work retail and get that 50 percent off discount to get a new wardrobe this is not real advice but you could take it if you want we all knew i was gonna say it thrifting she will be your best friend it really really helped me especially since my new style is basically all the clothes that eight-year-olds in like the 90s didn't want to wear so it works out you know i really wish i was lying when i said that uh but one of the tops that i wear a lot that i love very very dearly i thrifted and when i went to the cashier she kind of pointed out that it looked exactly like one of the tops that she tried to force her nine-year-old daughter to wear like years ago uh but her daughter refused to wear because it was so ugly and then she continued to ring me up that i still love the top i don't care that other people think it's ugly i think I it's think cute, it's cute. <laughs> i know you've heard it time and time again but please don't be scared to go into other sections of thrift stores i honestly find most of my stuff in the men's and the kids section but if you don't have the style of a 90s eight year old um you can still have much success at thrift stores you just kind of have to know which ones to go to my friend lynn uh definitely finds a lot of her clothes at more vintage uh thrift stores uh, when I went thrifting with her, I literally could not find anything, but she found so many things. So definitely you just need to know where like the kind of realm of your clothes will be. You can't really expect to go to a Goodwill, but then have like an urban outfitters type situation going. You like, you kind of just have to know where the stuff is. But with that, it comes trial and error, you know? And sometimes you'll find like a diamond in the rough. Thread up, Depop, Poshmark. It's really cool to go on Poshmark because you can haggle. Make sure you 
haggle kids please haggle flea markets i find so many cool things there and i definitely don't go without haggling first because they kind of go into it knowing that people are going to haggle um so just don't be nervous i know it's kind of scary i kind of haggle for my friends and my boyfriend too because they're a little nervous to do it but that five dollars off is five dollars okay and that could be put into another piece of clothing so don't be scared just remember me have my voice in your head saying it's okay, it's to, okay haggle. to haggle if shopping is very very daunting to you which i totally understand it's a lot to absorb style bundles on depop have been really really popular lately and i think is a really really great way to find pieces that you know will match your new vibe uh but you kind of don't really know where to start or you just don't have a lot of thrift stores near you that are very good or kind of you know you know what i mean have them do all the hard work for you it's a good time it's a good time next is to find your wardrobe staples my friend dustin told me that one of his wardrobe staples is a pair of baggy jeans and i could not agree more baggy jeans for me is just it's the holy grail i'm wearing some right now i found that i really really don't like skinny jeans anymore and i feel like baggy jeans really really match with any kind of top that you want to put on so you can really ease yourself in experimenting with different pieces by just experimenting with tops at first and then diving into bottoms i just cannot go out of the house without jewelry i feel like it just really really elevates your outfit in such a simple way i could just be wearing a normal sweatshirt and some jeans and then i have all of this fucking jewelry and i just look like i guess i have my shit together i don't know please don't be afraid to try something new i used to only wear strictly skinny jeans till one day my mom came into my room and gave me some wide leg madewell jeans because they didn't fit her let's just say i wore those pair of jeans every single day for a year and i wish i was lying a lot of people made fun of me actually because they just noticed that i wore the same fucking jeans every single day uh, but i've never felt more myself in just like wide leg jeans and i used to think they were so ugly when my mom first got them i was like why would you get that they are so ugly like i would never wear that let's just say i quickly ate my words you know sometimes you just gotta go for it if you think something's ugly and you try it on and it's ugly then okay then you just don't like it but best case scenario you love it other things that i've experimented with that i kind of thought were ugly or i was kind of scared to try but now i actually really like is this really really crazy studded belt that's really really in your face and is definitely not everyone's cup of tea but i think it's really sick and um arm warmers and leg warmers i never thought those would go back in style and i always thought they were really ugly but i think they're really cute now <laughs> Ooh, i love this tip um finding a friend that you can experiment with is such a fun time you know just kind of balance ideas off each other and if you know no one else likes your outfits just like in the public at least you could just turn to your friend and just know that they like that outfit too and that you guys look hot and sexy together definitely wanted to talk about confidence because that is such such a huge thing i know and it's definitely easier said than done let me tell you it took me so long and i'm still a little iffy about some clothing i wear you know i still i'm still an insecure being this sounds really dumb and definitely a no-brainer but please only wear clothes that make you feel good like a hot sexy bitch because you are one it's really really frustrating and it's a really big punch on your ego and self-esteem where you find an outfit that you really really like in your mirror or just like you know when you're just by yourself but only at a certain angle only when you're sitting up really straight it looks kind of weird when you're walking but when you're standing still it looks fine right i can't really put it into words it's just so frustrating when you like feel sexy and hot um in the mirror but once you get outside and you start walking you're definitely like hyper fixating on the insecurities you're like oh am i not sucking in enough hopefully my crotch doesn't look weird when i'm walking fashion is supposed to be really really fun and hyper fixating on your insecurities or just little things like that it's just not what your style should be about you gotta feel sexy in your bedroom and also outside your bedroom okay i don't want y'all to feel insecure anywhere okay <laughs> accentuate and highlight the parts that you're very very confident in and i guess kind of superficially 
fix your insecurities, I do this by wearing platform shoes because I'm insecure, I'm insecure about, about being me. short. Sure. I also like wearing wide leg jeans because I'm not a huge fan of my legs. Uh, so, you know, I mean, it's very, very superficial, as I said before. Like clothing and stuff, at least for me, don't really help fix my insecurities, but it helps me not fixate on them as much. So, yeah. Hey, fuck it. Wear a push up bra, man. If you want to have your titties out and you don't have like a ton of titty to work with, I, like, I don't get why people think it's bad to wear a push-up bra. Like, they exist for a reason, and if you feel confident in them, then fucking wear it. Like, I don't get why people make fun of others for wearing things that makes them feel better about themselves. Like, they're big losers for that. Okay, uh, there's some other things I want to talk about. It's my last thing. This video will be over, I promise, soon. <laughs> Remember, nothing is concrete, okay? Don't be confined into one if you don't want to be confined into one. Some days you want to be cottagecore. Sometimes you want to be goth GF. Um, why did I say GF? I should have just said girlfriend, goth girlfriend. Fashion is so fluid as i said before so don't be scared to have many different kinds it just makes you you don't, don't be, afraid be afraid to outfit, to outfit repeat. repeat please it is so okay if you feel sexy and confident in an outfit and you want to repeat that feeling and it's just a fire outfit then wear it till it freaking rips. And my last thing that I wanted to say was please don't be afraid to do a certain trend or style because you don't want to be labeled as basic. It's a very like, I'm not like other girls type thing that is very, very outdated. It is basic and a trend because it's cute and a lot of people like it there's no shame in liking what other people like i know a lot of people that really want to be unique and that's very very okay but that doesn't mean that you can um, bring other people down because they don't necessarily want you to be like that one in a million everyone just wants to wear what they want to wear so let everyone do it okay i hope you enjoyed this video it was a chatty one i hope it was helpful at least um i worked really hard on it my notes they were really long, let me just say. Uh, but I really wanted this to be a very comprehensive and helpful video for you. Yeah, bye. Okay.